Okay, go ahead. All right, everybody. Happy Friday. Welcome to our daily workout. Uh, if you do not already have your bands on, please hook yourself up, armbands to start. Uh, and for those who are joining on Instagram, please grab a towel, a bath towel or a beach towel works great. Uh, if you have a yoga strap, that's a great alternative. A belt will also work as well. So something that has some length so we can use it to do a couple of our exercises and one of our stretches. So if you haven't already grabbed that, go run and grab something right now. Um, if you're here and you have all your supplies, AKA your bands, your body and your strap, go ahead and take a nice big sip of water so we can hydrate to get ourselves going. Ooh. All right, cool. And we've done all kinds of things this week. We've done mobility, we've done strength, we've done cardio. Today we're just gonna mix up all of it uh, and add a prop as well. So let's go ahead and get started um, in a lunge on our knees. And go ahead and start your cycle if you've not already done so. Group setting, starting either on low or medium. And we're gonna start to open up the spine a little bit. So my left leg is forward, my right leg is back. I'm gonna reach my arms forward. And I just start to pull the left arm all the way back behind me and then bring it back through center. So take a couple more of these, creating a lot of space, reaching the fingertips in the opposite directions as you reach and come back through center. And keep squeezing your glutes to try and keep the lower body pretty stable. So you want to really get into the spine. I'm letting those bands start to get to work. Let's take two more. And last one. Open up and hold it. Reach your fingertips in the opposite direction. Squeeze it out for five, four, three, two. Let's go ahead and switch it up other side. Right foot forward. Reaching forward. This time we pull the right arm back behind us and we come back through center and keep going. As you do this, try and look back over your right shoulder, letting that twist get all the way up into your neck and giving your hips a squeeze to keep the lower body really stable. We'll take three more. Last two. And on this next one, we're gonna reach back and hold it. Good, a lot of range across the chest, reaching the fingertips out. We have five, four, three, two. Come back through center, come down onto your knees. Let's move the spine the other direction. So instead of twisting, we're doing flexion and extension. So let's add breath to this. As you inhale, lift your chest and your tailbone, drop your belly down. As you exhale, round out the spine, push the floor away from you with the upper body. That's it. Inhale, drop the belly, arch the back. Exhale, round the spine. Two more. And really think about each individual vertebrae here. So we're not just tossing our back into extension and flexion. We're articulating the vertebrae so we can work every part of our spine. Good. And then go ahead and make your way up to stand. Grab your towel, your strap, your belt, whatever you're working with today. Take it between your hands. If you have something with a metal end, either a belt or a strap, take that in your, in your hand so you don't whack yourself. And then we're gonna start to work through a range of motion with the shoulders. And your goal here is to not let your elbows bend. So with that in mind, we're gonna take the strap, reach it all the way up and all the way back and behind you, releasing tension if you need to, that's fine. Now this is where it gets tricky. You're gonna bring it up and back behind you. As you bring it around, your elbows are gonna to wanna to bend. Don't let them come all the way back through. And if that was easy, tighter grip, work through it. And you can pick the pace. It should be challenging, it should be very challenging. That's how we open up our shoulders. All the way up and around and back through. And if you don't have anything to hold on to, just imagine you're holding on to something that works just as well. Good, I get some pops and cracks here. If you do, that's okay, as long as they don't hurt. And we're gonna do one more. Reach that strap, that towel, whatever you've got all the way up and back behind you. And then start to bring it up towards the ceiling. Hold here, grip what you've got and pull it in opposite directions. Tug as you punch your fist up towards the ceiling. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now reach forwards. Pull it in opposite directions. 
opening up the backs of the shoulders. Pull and reach for seven, six, five, four, three, two. Nice. Release, release what you've got. Give the shoulders a roll. And go ahead and release the strap or the towel. Bring your arms up into scarecrow position. Last little bit of our warm up. Find your right hand. Start to drop your right palm down towards the floor. Now notice here if your elbow starts to sneak down, keep it in line with your shoulder. And then find your left hand, press the back of the left hand back behind you. So I'm rotating my arms in opposite directions with the elbows up. We have eight, seven, squeeze out as much as you can for five, four, three, two. Switch it up, opposite direction. Check your elbows, don't let them sag or get wonky. Squeeze out as much as you can. Go for that shake, engage your belly for seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last set should be kind of intense. Rotate and squeeze. First six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Good. Check that left elbow. First six, five, four, three, two. Nice job. Rotate the shoulders around. Release them. Give the fingers a wiggle. Now our band should be pumping. Let's do a quick cap refill check. Hold up your palm. Give it a press. It should go from white to normal colored within three seconds. That's how we know our bands are at an appropriate level. If it takes a lot longer to refill, they're probably on a bit tight. Think one finger space in your bands. No more, no less. Okay? So smaller muscles to bigger muscles. Let's get into our forearms. Pull the elbows in and by your side. Making a nice 90 degree in my elbow. I got to restart my cycle. If yours has stopped, make sure you do that too. We're just going to start to do some upward wrist curl. Up. Up and up, nice and slow. So we got 30 seconds. Time starts now. Curling your wrists up, up, up. Mm -hmm. And I like to wrap my thumbs outside your knuckles. Do whatever you want to do, you can do to really squeeze the fist, activate the forearm muscles. Up and up. Imagine you're holding a weight that's about 10 pounds. How would you lift that? Really gripping, working to get that up. All right, last 10. Good. In five, we're going to go right into the other direction. We have four, three, two, and one. Now the time curl down, down, down. 30 seconds. Keep going. Feels a little bit different. Still that squeeze, still that forearm activation. Squeeze your elbows in a little bit more. Pull, pull, pull. That's the step. Good. And if you want to practice balance while you're here, we have 10 more seconds. Maybe lift the right leg. Maybe lift the left leg. We have five, four, three, and two. Good job. Okay. Triceps. Next set of baby muscles. We are doing a tricep dip. I'll demonstrate and then we'll do it together. If a tricep dip is too hard on your muscles or your wrist, we have an alternative. So don't fret. So for tricep dips, we come on down to sit. I root my palms into the floor underneath my shoulders. I get my butt off the floor. The rule is don't let your butt hit the floor. Bend your elbows, straighten the arms. Bend your elbows, straighten the arms. If you want an alternative that's too much on the wrist, tricep extension. Okay? We have two 40 second sets. So let's set ourselves up together. We'll go ahead and come on down. My fingertips are reaching towards my heels. I root my hands into the floor. We're going to start in three, two, one. Press yourself up. Get your hips high. Bend the elbows. Lift. Bend the elbows. Push the floor away from you. This is the stuff. Butt should not touch the floor. Maybe you can even press your hips up higher as you do this to make it more challenging. Down, up, down, and up. And you can also take this even slower and see what that feels like. So play with the speed. It doesn't just have to be fast or slow. You get to decide how you do this exercise as long as your form is good. Last 10 seconds, keep moving. All right, good. Everyone's working. In five, we're gonna drop our butt to give the wrist a roll. We have three, two, one. Go ahead and give it a release. Now, if you were doing tricep extensions back behind you, perfect, you're gonna take another set of those. If you're doing the tricep dip, Two options, you can either keep your knees bent, same thing, or if you're looking for a little extra spice for your Friday, you're gonna straighten the legs out. Again, if your butt hits the floor, you're cheating, okay? Butts up, down, up. We're gonna start in three, two, one. 
two, one, 40 seconds. Think about your elbows being two arrows. I want those arrows to shoot straight back behind you, down, up, and it can be a small movement. And yes, it's also hard on the shoulders. We're working two and one. Now give your glutes a little squeeze, activate them, and down. Up, down, and up. And band should be working, we're feeling that burn. Half done, keep going. Hips up, bottoms up. Good, if you're doing the extensions, really lengthening the fingertips back behind you, getting into the muscles. Last 10, we can do it. Mm -hmm. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Good, if you're not already seated, come down to sit. We're gonna use our strap, our towel, our item to work our biceps today. So there's a bicep curl, and then we can actually add more weight to it by using our own body. So we're gonna start by looping your strap, your towel, whatever you've got around your right foot. And I'll demonstrate. So my arms come straight, and then I bend in and out, using my leg to create weight for my biceps. Now, I'm not rounding up my spine, my spine is straight, my chest is up, I'm pulling in and out. And the more you drive your heel away from you, the harder it's gonna be. So this is easier than this, okay? So set yourself up, first set, 40 seconds, three, two, one, go. Good, keeping the elbows glued into the body, contracting through the biceps to help get your leg up. And if you want more, drive that leg really straight Create a lot of tension in the towel or the strap, and you're also getting a hamstring stretch. Good, let's see where we can grow even taller so it's targeting the biceps, not the spine. Yes, looks good, keep going. Let's see who we've got today. Got some people on Instagram, hello, good job. Who have we got on Zoom? We have 10 more seconds, nice Jake. Good, for five, four, three, two, and one, cool. Hands back behind you, clasp them. Reach the fist down, lengthen out the bicep for the stretch. All right, let's do the other side. This time take your strap or your towel, whatever you've got around the left foot. And again, if you're not working with anything, imagine that you are, you can still simulate the movement. So we're gonna start our second set in three, two, one, here we go. Reach those arms down. Curl them up, up. And I am pushing my heel away from me the whole time. So my arms have to do the work. And I'm taking them slow. And lift. Now, see where you can grow a little bit taller. Chest up, we're half done. Pull it in. Pull, pull, good stuff. Nice. Woo, all right. See if you can do two more. We have four, three, two, and one. Release it, shake everything out. Okay. We have a slightly extended upper body circuit today because we've been doing a lot of lower body all week. So far everyone looks great. This next exercise is forearm side plank reach. So I come onto my forearm and you can either have one knee down, it's supported, or you can have both legs up. I reach up and over, up and over. So my obliques are working and my bottom shoulder is doing a heck of a lot of work to keep my body stable. So let's set up together and I'll start our time once everyone's up. Totally fine to have that bottom knee down. Totally fine to have both knees down. Otherwise, make your way up into a side plank. We're going in three, two, one. Reach over and down, over, and down, that's it. Keep pressing your hips up the whole time. Mm -hmm. Now notice if you're sagging into that bottom shoulder, see if you can really press the floor away from you with that arm to provide strength, not sagging. We're half done, good job. And that arm that's reaching stays nice and straight. So we're getting into the shoulder as well for a stretch. We're not just keeping it sloppy. Last 10 seconds, good. See if you can use those hips up even more. Loading the bottom shoulder, building a lot of strength. We have eight, seven, six, five, reaching all the way for three, two, and one. Nice. Come down to rest. And we're gonna jump right into the other side. So go ahead and make your way over onto your left side. 
Now, always checking our form. Whenever we're in any kind of plank, any kind, we wanna make sure that our joints are stacked. So in this case, the joints are shoulder over elbow, hip over hip, okay? So make your way up into your variation. We're gonna start in three, two, one. Reach all the way over, bring the arm down to the side, press the floor away from you. All the way up, my arm stays straight, all the way down. And the hip should not be moving, only that top arm. So you're kind of like waving to your neighbor back and forth. Good. All right, breathe through it. Looks good, looks good. Nice Gabe, nice Jeff. Mm -hmm. Last 10. Good. In five, we're going to drop the hips. We have four, three. Good, Quentin. Two and one. Drop your hips. Good job. Give the shoulders a roll. Two more exercises and then our heart rate boost. We're doing great. Upper body, very important. Okay? So shoulder tap push-up launcher. Very complicated name. It's just a three-part move. So again, I'm into my plank position, this time in high plank. Now, what joints do I need to keep stacked here? Most importantly, shoulders over wrists. So in a plank position, I tap, tap, push up. I pull my butt back and forward. So I shoulder tap, shoulder tap, push up, shift my butt back, shift my butt forwards. Always okay to do this on the knees. Push up shift back, shift forward, okay? So make your way into your plank variation, making sure that the appropriate joints are stacked. We're gonna go in three, two, one, 40 seconds. Tap, tap, push up, pull your butt back, shift forward. Tap, tap, push it, butt back, butt forward, keep going. I noticed someone gave us a shout in the chat, so I'm gonna check that. Do we push back into bear crawl? Basically, yeah. You're gonna push your butt back just like a bear. You got it. Good, last 10. Doesn't matter how fast you're going because you're in a plank position regardless. So you're getting some strength. Your chest is working, your back is working. We have four, three, two, and one. Now drop your knees. Paying attention to what set of joints we want stacked here. This time I want your hips to stay over your knees. Quick rest. Walk your arms forward. Your butt's gonna wanna shift back, don't let it. And I wanna walk my fingers forward so that I can hover my elbows off the floor and take three deep breaths into that space between the shoulder blades. Good, one more breath. Start to walk your hand back up towards the body. Joints that are stacked are all set up. Let's make our way up for our second set. Come on up into plank. We're gonna start in three, two, one. We go tap, tap, push up, push back, shift forward. Mm -hmm. And we're already 10 seconds into it. Yes. Good, Jake. Woo. All right, half done. As we take those taps, keeping the body nice and still and stable. Good, Liam. Nice, Kayleen, keep going. George, your backyard looks beautiful. We have five, four, three, two, and rest. Give those wrists a roll. Final exercise, then we get our heart rates up and we groove on. I call these the I's, Y's, and T's. So I come down onto my belly and I'm gonna do three things with my arms. I lift up in an I, I lift up in a Y, I lift up in a T shape. So we're getting into the shoulders. I go I, Y, and T. If it hurts your lower back, engage your glutes more, or you can just not lift your legs. I, Y, and T. Arms stay straight the whole time. Everyone come down onto your belly. First set in three, two, one, let's go. Arms up into I, Y, 
and T. These are fantastic for shoulders and posture muscles. And notice which one is hardest for you. For me, it's certainly that eye. And that's hard on my shoulders. Try and keep the arms straight the whole time. Don't let them bend. We're already half done. Always we want to keep our core engaged. Protect the low back as we do this. Yes. Fantastic. Last 10. Keep moving through it. Reaching those fingertips away from your shoulders the whole time. Awesome, Bonnie. Good. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Come up onto hands and knees. Tuck your toes. Lift your hips up and back. Walk, walk, walk your hands back to meet your feet. And nice and slowly roll up to stand for our cardio burst. We have our three moves. The first one, elbow to knee, straight leg kicks. I go down, kick, tap, kick. Okay, that's slow. You can also, if you need to go fast, go fast. Tap, kick, tap, kick. Either way, try and get close to contact, fully straighten that leg, okay? Second 30 seconds, overhead hop scotch. We're going back into elementary school. My arms are up overhead. I jump in, out. In, out, in, out, backwards. Okay? If jumping is not your jam, step, 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 step. Last thing, scissor punch jacks. I go punch, 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 punch. Okay? So, first 30 seconds, elbow to knee, straight leg kick in three, two, one. Let's get our heart rate up. Tap, kick. Tap, kick. Woo! Get some spring in that step. This is the last thing we're doing with our armband. So let's make it count. Last workout of the week. Here we go. Tap, kick. Tap, kick. Yes, half done. Woo! Breathe through it. Last 10. In five, we're going to go right into overhead hop scotch. We have four, three, two, and one. Arms up, nice and straight, hop it out. In, out, in, out, in, take it back. Light on those toes. Woo -wee. <laughs> it's a little different when we have to keep our arms up. I think it makes it harder, half done. Keep hopping. <laughs> yes, it's Friday. Last eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Scissor punch jacks. Let's go. <laughs> if hopping is not your jam, always take the step. Okay? Or a very light hop. Last ten. We have eight, seven, pick it up, six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Everyone, sip the water all around. Pop off those armbands. Let's swap them out for legs. Good job, Instagram. Good job, Zoom. We have a very, very important question for everyone. Very, very important. Yeah, it's oh. big. Um, oh, yeah, it's real big. Um, <laughs> If you had to pick for the rest of your life, one and only one for everything, chocolate or vanilla? On the plate, feel free to answer in the chat. I have a very strong opinion, and I know a lot of people have very strong opinions on that. Uh, take your pick, take your pick. Definitely. Who said chocolate? Who was that? Me. <laughs> we got a chocolate girl, so like ice cream, <laughs> cookies, chocolate across the board. Okay, I'll take it. Let's get a poll. Let's see. Vanilla. You can always, okay. you can always it's, it's make it. vanilla with chocolate, but you can never make chocolate vanilla. <laughs> That's deep. That's deep. What else we got? I've asked a lot of people this question. Chocolate, chocolate. I've seen a lot of we're team chocolate over here. Gabe is saying vanilla. Oh man, we're about tied, guys. I I don't know. So Gabe. 
I need like three more answers to, to get this tiebreaker. All right. Sophia, chocolate, definitely. Jess is vanilla. Sophia's chocolate. Oh my goodness. Guys, every time someone says chocolate, the other person says vanilla. Maybe we're coming in with a direct tie. Chocolate. <laughs> Are these personal differences? Vanilla, John, okay. We really are tied. Okay, but I'm learning so much about you guys. I see vanilla in all caps. Gabe, didn't you already answer? <laughs> vanilla wins. Okay. I think Gabe just decided that vanilla wins on his own. But uh, I personally am vanilla. I, I do love chocolate, but I'm a vanilla person. Uh, and Gabe volunteered that vanilla wins. So we're just going to go with vanilla wins for today. Uh, but it's been wonderful learning about each and every one of you on a very personal level. <laughs> all right. Now that we've got our leg bands on, let's hop up. Okay. So get your cycle going. Hike those tubes all the way up to the outer edges of your leg. Now, in full transparency, we are doing two rounds of heart rate boost in our leg bands. So just so you know what's coming. We have one, two, three, four, five exercises, two rounds of heart rate boost. We can do it, we got this, okay? So we're gonna start with standing bicycles for the calves. Let's fire up those cycles. And my challenge to you is to try and keep your heels off the floor the whole time as you bend into alternating knees, okay? If that doesn't work, you can just lift alternating heels, that's fine too, okay? 30 seconds, two sets, we're going in three, two, one. Heels off the floor, bend alternating knees. If you need to take a finger to a wall, a chair, maybe a bike in your garage, whatever you've got, and that doesn't sound so stable, you can do that. If you want more of a challenge, arms reach straight up. That makes everything harder. Get your heels up even higher. There we go. I had no idea that chocolate vanilla was going to be such a, a, a hot debate. <laughs> Good. Last 10. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. Rest it. Step the right heel back. Drop it to the floor. Bend into the left knee. Switch it up. We're going to have to have a question of the day now going forward. Okay. Second set. Both heels off the floor. 30 seconds. Go. Cycle it out. Good. Option to take the hands up overhead. Keep getting your heels higher as you do it. And if you have your arms up, try and make them nice and straight. I know you can't exactly see mine. And if you really want more of a challenge as you're doing this, start to sink your butt low. Woo. Keep those heels up. Last 10. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. All right. First cardio burst, 30 seconds, elbow to knee, straight leg kick. Three, two, one, go. Tap, kick, tap, kick. We're going. Woo. All right, keep it up. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Last 10, good. Let me see some bounce in your step, it's Friday. In five, we're going to switch it up into overhead hot scotch. We have four, three, two, and one. Arms up, hop it out. In, out, in. We are rolling. Woo -hoo. And I know that there are some folks that don't like jumping. I totally understand that. It is a little bit scary to jump on the knees. If you want to try it, just jump slow and jump light. Doesn't have to be a big thud. I don't know which way I'm going. I'm just going all around. Keep moving. Last 10. Fast. Out and in. Out and in. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Scissor punch jack. Go. Whew. Get it going. Get it going. Get those arms moving fast. Light on those toes, maybe keep your heels off the mat the whole time. Have fun. 
Last 10. Speed it up, fast as you can go. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out, grab a sip of water. As you grab your sip of water, take a gaze at the screen for our next exercise. It is a forward to reverse lunge with a pause. So starting with my left leg, I lunge forward, up, backwards, pause. Forwards, up, backwards, pause. If you're needing even more of a challenge, don't let your left foot hit the floor at all in between. So I lunge forward, pause, backwards, pause, okay? Starting with the left leg, we're doing four rounds, two rounds per leg, four sets, okay? First set, left leg, three, two, one. We go forward. See how far back you can step that left foot and see how far forward you can step it. So really challenging your balance as you come back to your center using your core. And as you lunge forward, I want you to press off from your front heel. And as you lunge back off to the back toe. Good, in five, we're gonna go right into the other side. We have four, three, two, and one. Right leg, lunge it back. Lunge it forward. And if the pause at the top doesn't work, just tap. We're rolling. It's Friday and we're lunging. Vanilla and condiment. Interesting. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm seeing some hands behind the head. I like it. If you want to take your hands behind the head, go for it. Even more of a challenge, but keep your spine straight. Head up. Awesome. Last five, four, Three, two, and one. Shake it out. You guys are so great. I love that we know ways to make it harder for our own bodies. So in most of the leg exercises we do, a good option is taking your hands behind your head or reaching your arms straight up if you want more of a challenge. And I love that you guys just kind of know how to do that on your own if it works for your body. So with that being said, for our second set, option to take hands behind the head or arms straight up. We're going to start with the left leg. Okay. Now, if you really need more today, instead of forwards and backwards, you can jump. Okay? Keep in mind, we're doing the left leg and the right leg of the swing. So if you're jumping, you have two sets. Okay? Whatever you choose to do, if you're doing the one leg, starting with the left, in three, two, one. or you can jump. And if you're jumping and having your arms up isn't working for you, take them down. Always options. Woo! Leanne is flying. Brandon is absolutely flying. <laughs> nice. Oh my gosh, almost everyone has their arms up. You guys, good. Second side in four, three, two, go. If you're jumping, you've committed. Keep going. <laughs> now we're getting a little tired. If you have your hands behind your head, keep pressing your elbows back. Create space. No growing small. Mm -hmm. Liam is still flying. Way to go. Nice. Keep going, Gabe. You got it. Looks good. Nice, Lily. We have six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Everyone step your left foot forward. Glue your right heel down to the floor, and then straighten out that front leg. Take a hamstring stretch over the leg. All right, all right. Put sides, right foot forward, left heel roots into the floor. I straighten out that leg, and I walk my hands as far down as I can. Last heart rate boost of the day. Come on up. Elbow to knee, straight leg kick in three, two, one. Let's go. Woo. Yes. We've had a hard week of working out, and everyone is doing so great. It's really fun to see everyone's progress, even in the short amount of time that I've been watching all of you work out. Really cool, good job guys. Last five, 
four, three, two, and one. Overhead hopscotch. Let's go. Forwards and backwards. Check those elbows. They are nice and straight. Imagine you're holding a plate of spaghetti above your head. Don't let that plate spill. Woo wee, last 10. In five, we're going into scissor punch jacks. We have four, three, two, and one. Last cardio burst, go. Woo. Keep that pace up, we can do this. Light on the toes, off the heels, breathe it out. We're gonna go all out. Here we go, last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome, walk it out, grab water. Sip by sip, not gulp by gulp. Okay, three more things, three more things. Squat, jump to walk. I'm in a squat position. I jump, walk it back. I jump, walk it back. Option, you don't jump, you just walk. But I want you to keep your butt low, don't let it move, whichever variation you take. So if you jump, land softly, walk it back, hop and walk back to the carpet and it's like sliding with me, seems dangerous. Okay, we're gonna start back of the mat or your workspace in three, two, one, go. <laughs> nice. Takes a lot of coordination, takes a lot of control. Woo, get your butt down, get your butt down, especially if you're walking, get it low, get it low. Mm-hmm. Nice, making sure the weight is in our heels. We have 15 more seconds, half done. Woo, go Gabe. I can't see you do this, but good job. I know you're here and you're doing the work. Last five, four, three, two, hands to hips, bending into alternate knees, rock it side to side. All right, second set. Make your way to the back of your workspace. Get nice and low. We're starting in three, two, one. Let's go. Hop, walk it back. Hop, walk it back. And I'm careful on my hops because I'm sliding around on this carpet. <laughs> All right. Good job, Instagram. Good job, Zoom. Light on those knees. Please be gentle. We don't want to build strength at the demise of our joints. So know when you need to walk versus hop. You are still working the exact same muscles, so it doesn't really matter. Last 10. Wherever you are, get your butt low. We have five, four, nice job. Three, two, and one. Come on out, check it out. So our next exercise is in thanks to John Doolittle, who taught me this morning about eight count bodybuilders. So, John, are you on? Do we have still have John or did he disappear? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm on. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Would you like to demonstrate eight count bodybuilders or would you like me to? Yeah, I'll demonstrate. Can you hear me okay? I can hear you. All right, okay, John. So it's like it's a, it's <laughs> can right? everyone so see him? Give me a thumbs up if you can see John. I like it. All right, show us okay, what you so got, John. Sorry to be on the slide. So, so here we go. This is one. Two, legs straight back. Three, legs all the way out. Four, five is a push up. Six is up. Seven, jump back. And eight. Uh, oh, Can we I'm give him a round? Can we give him a round? Good job, John. Yeah. There we go. Thank right, so you. We'll, we'll see. It looks like this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, with the jump at the end. Okay, I'll do the first round with us. And the way I've seen is the push-up comes first. John, are we cool with that? Yeah, push-up first. All right, all right. We ready? 
After this, we get to come down onto our side. So I call this like our last hard, hard exercise of the day. We're getting our heart rates up. We're doing 30 seconds, 20 seconds, 10 seconds. Okay, let's do it together. Everyone step to the front of your workspace. 30 seconds in three, two, one. We come down, jump back, push up, legs out, legs in, come up, down, back, push up, out, in, hop up, stand, keep it up. And if for some reason you can't quite remember the order, do some movement. Movement is movement. What we're doing, as long as you're moving, you got it. Good. And you can always step instead of jumping. We have four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Bonnie, that was awesome. <laughs> cool. Saw a lot of jumping today. All right. Come up to Sam. Second set, 20 seconds. Ready and go. Good. Always an option to step back instead of jump back. You can always drop your knees on that for the push up too. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Hop on up, shake it out. Last one, 10 seconds. See if you can do two of them in your 10 second period. We have three, two, one, go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Everyone come up to Sam. Shake it out. And last leg. Woohoo! Good job, gang. Thank you, John, for being put on the spot and killing it. <laughs> All right. Last exercise. Everybody on your side. Now, in full disclosure, if you were to optimize all of your workouts, this would not be the most optimal exercise because our legs are in line. There's not the blood flowing down. However, we have done a whole lot of work this week on our legs. And so we're going to take a little pause and do something different. Okay. So with that being said, flex your feet, toes and towards shins. Imagine you're moving through molasses, lift the right leg up or the top leg, whichever one you're doing all the way down, nice and slow, all the way up, all the way down. The slower you can move, the better it is. Imagine you have a stack of sand on top of your top leg and you're lifting it. It's gonna be a slow movement. Good, see how high you can get that leg. Now notice your hips, if you're rocking back, keep your hips stacked. Think about keep pressing your top hip forward. Good. Three more. Last two. Of course, we're going to work into it. Lift that leg halfway up and hold it. Bend your knee. Press your foot. Out an inch, in an inch, out an inch, in an inch. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, extend that leg, hold it, point your toe. We're going to keep working into it. Imagine you're tracing a dime. Draw a baby circle. Eight, seven, six, five, smaller, four, three, two. Lift that leg up an inch, pulse it, little lift, up, 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 and up. Keep going with me here. Contract your core, keep your hips stacked. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, lift that leg up as high as you can, lower down as slowly as you can for four, three, two, and one. Good job, hip should be burning. Let's do the other side. All right, starting with the feet flex. So my toes are in towards my shins. I'm lengthening my hamstrings the whole time. We go up, we go down. And I want you to keep your hand on your top hip, keep pressing it forward. Because we all have butts, our butts say, hey, I have an idea, let's take a nap. And you have to say, no, use your core. <laughs> Good. You're pushing something away from you with the heel of your foot the whole time. If you can go slower than me, I like it. Four more. Good, last two. 
Lift that leg halfway up and hold it. Bend the knee, press the foot. Out an inch, in an inch, out an inch, in an inch. If your hips start to shake, that is a very good thing. This is the biggest muscle complex in the body. We want to build a lot of strength here. We have four, three, two. Press that leg straight, point your toe. Trace a dime on the back wall or fence away from you. Don't let your hips move. Only the leg is moving for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last thing, little pulses. You can do it. Squeeze like heck. Show me everything you've got. We have six, five, four, three, two. Lift that leg all the way up. Embrace the shake. Lower down as slowly as you can. Four, three, two, and one. Now we're already on our side. We're primed for our last exercise of the day. I take my bottom arm, I reach it out in front of me. I take my top hand. I wanna bend my feet up, my knees into my chest and come back down. I pick myself up and I come back down. So we're doing oblique work. 30 seconds on this side, let's go. Pressing into that arm, come up, tap your feet and down. We go up and down, that's it. Good, half done. Good, try and find contact with hands and feet. You can do it. We have 10 more seconds. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Last exercise, roll on to the other side. Good. Reach that top leg up and over, then bring the knees in and reach in and reach time is rolling this is it Woo. press into that bottom arm get as high up off the floor as you can half go oh excuse me half done <laughs> nice nice and slow i see it good for five four three two, and one. Everybody come on to your back. Now we grabbed a towel, a strap, or a belt at the beginning of our practice. Let's use it. Take that thing around the arch of your right foot. Kick your leg up. I want you to do your best to keep the back of your head and your shoulders on the floor. Now, work with me here. Both ends of your strap or your towel into your left hand. Take your right thumb, plug it into your right hip crease and push your hip crease down. So pushing your hip towards your heel. And then start to bring your right leg across the body to the left. But I want you to keep pushing into your hip crease, keeping it glued down to the floor. IT band stretch. Now your job here is to keep making your right leg straighter. All right, start to bring it back to your center. Pass both ends of the strap, the towel, whatever you've got to your right hand. Open that leg out to the side. Now making sure that your left hip stays rooted into the floor. We don't want to topple over. So keep lengthening your right leg, pushing your heel away from your body. And then bring the right leg back to the center. Give that strap, that towel, something one more tug, kick the heel away from you. And then let's switch sides. Go ahead and release the right foot. Take your strap, whatever you've got, or on the arch of your left foot, kick that leg up. Nice big hamstring stretch. Good. And then start to pass the strap into the right hand. Plug your left thumb into the hip crease. Bring the leg over and also up. This one's always a doozy. It's a big stretch. All right, bring that leg back to your center, pass the strap into the left hand, open it up to the side. Keeping the right hip down, relaxing the shoulders in the back of the head. We don't need to tense up just because we're stretching. Relaxing where you can.
and then pull that leg back through center. One more hamstring stretch. Draw toes in towards nose. Kick your heel away from you. And then release the strap. Pull both knees in. Start to rock and roll up and down along your spine until you bring yourself up to sit. We come up in a seated position. We're going to take a breath together, okay? So take a big inhale through your nose and hold it. Draw your shoulders up by your ears. Sip in even more air. Audible sigh. <sighs> One more. Big inhale through the nose and hold it. Draw your shoulders up. Sip in even more. Audible sigh. <sighs> All right. Bring your hands together. Give yourself a big old round of applause. Nice job. Happy Friday. Vanilla for the win. Chocolate comes in at a very close second. I'll see everyone same time, same place Monday. Have a fantastic weekend, Gabe. Thank you very much again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Peace.